everyone i am dr ekta and today i will be discussing some applications of flow cytometry in apoptosis usually question is asked from this topic in section c and it is very easy to attempt it if you know the concept so to start with i will begin with a question which says you have this phosphatidyl serin which is usually present in the inner leaflet in normal cell and this ps flip to outer leaflet in a cell undergoing apoptosis and then you have this protein called nxn5 which can bind to this ps and will help in the detection of the apoptotic cells from the necrotic and the normal cell this nxn5 is labeled with a fluorescent dye called fitzi and then you have this propidium iodide which is used to stain nucleus so the question says that in which area of the plot you should get early apoptotic cells by facts analysis so before going to the explanation of this i would first explain what is flow cytometry or facts so flow cytometry is a technique to measure the properties of a cell in a fluid suspension across an illuminated light path in a simple language i would say that this flow cytometry has three component in it fluidics optics and electronics so what happened in this this is a case where you having the heterogeneous cell population which is labeled and the fluidic pressure is such that the stream is formed and it will allow only one cell to pass through this laser light and this laser light is then used to excite the fluorescent molecule which is tagged on the surface so over here the signal will be two types of signal can be detected that is you have scattering signal and then you have this fluorescent signal so what happen in case of scattering is you have two types of scattering if this is your cell this is your laser light coming and this is how it gets scattered so if it is scattered in the forward direction with the direction of the laser light this is known as forward scattering and if it is deflected at a 90 degree this is known as side scattering so forward scattering would help you to determine the cell size and refractive index whereas the side scattering will help you to determine the granules present in the cells so here you can see this is the forward scattering collector this is the side scattering collector you can see this is coming at a at the same angle whereas in the case of side scattering it is deflected by 90 degree and then you have this detector which is particular to the fluorescent dye this is for the fit c this is for the phycoerythrin and so on so here what you can measure is scattering and fluorescein so now let's come back to the questions which says that in case of normal cell this is your normal life cell where your phosphatidyl serin is present in the inner leaflet and during apoptosis it get flipped to the outer surface due to which this nxn5 which is labeled with fit c can bind to this phosphatidyl serin so this is the case of your early apoptosis and when it flipped to it it create pores due to which this pi dye can bind to the dna in the nucleus so this is the case of late apoptosis so now we have seen that the signal can be in the form of scattering or it can be in the form of fluorescence 
so what happened in the question which says that you have hc over here in the x axis and then you have pe on the y axis and here are the four quadrant over here the first quadrant will be that you have both fitc and pe both are low whereas over here you would have high fitc and low pe here you would have both high fitc high and pe is also high here you will have pe high and fit c low so this is the case when both of the component is low means that the cell is neither going apoptosis nor necrosis so this is the case where you have normal life cells then this is the case you have fit c high and pe is low means that the fit c labeled an exon is has bind to the ps molecule so now in this case this will be the case of your early apoptosis when you have both high fit c high and pe as also high means that the pe has moved in because of the force created so this is the case of late apoptosis now you have fit c low means the cell is not undergoing apoptosis but you have pe is high so mean the cell is undergoing necrosis so now let's get back to the question so where you see early apoptotic cells so we know this is the case of normal cell this is the case of early apoptotic cell this is the case of late apoptotic and this is the case of necrotic cells so the answer is early apoptotic is in quadrant 3 so the correct answer is quadrant 3 see the question was very easy it's just if you know the concept you can solve it let's try another question which says a researcher was repeating a facts experiment but somehow got confused with the labeling of the tubes okay so there were four tubes one with a control c with no fluorescent label s1 with fitc label s2 with pe label and the test one which should be fitc positive so what is the correct labeling so now in the first option you see that you have high fitc and low pe so if it is high fit c means it can be s1 or it can be test so this can be s1 or this can be test over here you see pe is high and fit c is low so this is the case of your standard 2 here you have fit c high and pe low again this can be the case of either s1 or you have test here both are low pe is also low fit c is also low this is the case of your control so the answer would be correct answer 4 see again these are the questions from section c but a very easy question so i would highly recommend you to attempt this topic